Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 6 of the Valley of the Old Farm with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm and the Vintage series. It's yeah, it's been not as soon as I thought it would be. <laughs> I've been very, very busy the last couple of weeks um, and actually, yeah, I've not got onto Farming Simulator once this week. Um, so if you're watching these back to back, it makes no difference to you whatsoever, but there has been a little bit of a, a slowdown in content of late on the channel. Um, hopefully I can rectify that a little bit in the coming weeks, but as I said, it's been extremely busy with me at work. Fire Brigade um, stuff has been crazy busy. We've had a lot of wildfires up here in the islands of Scotland. So I've been out at those, um, which is kind of eight hours at a time. Um, and yeah, uh, obviously working my normal job um, as an outdoor instructor. Um, it's been a busy old time with that as well. So yeah, not a, not a great deal of time for video games, unfortunately. But I'm on it just now and I'm still loving playing on this map. It is fantastic. So what we're doing just now, we're just finishing off a contract. Um, as you can see the field's fairly large, it took me a little while to do this, um, but we are, wherever we are, complete. So I forgot, I didn't even see that clip over, so we'll just finish that row there I think. Um, we'll leave this slither and it'll magically disappear, so we'll collect on that. I've also accepted this harvesting contract for sunflowers. Now there's a little bit of a plan afoot here, so I'm going to hire a, a sunflower header for our harvester. And uh, yeah, it's going to give us the opportunity to... Oh, we've got, some, oh, we've got cotton. No, I'm not hiring kit for that. I will probably take that one on though, so we'll accept that just now. Um, yeah, so what I've done is I've taken on this harvesting contract um, with the thought that actually our sunflowers are going to be ready probably next game day. So um, if we look at the harvesting window for um, sunflowers, uh, we're into just now October so we've got November as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is just keep hold of it just now and probably wait till tomorrow and then we can hire that header and then yeah, we'll see, depending on the size of our field, we <laughs> we might have to hire a harvester as well, um, rent a harvester, but we'll see, we'll see. So, we'll just head back to the farm. Um, the other things I want to do today if, um, is uh, um, we've got a lot of uh, pallets have spawned now. So, our apples, have, we've got our first pallets of apples have uh, turned up, and we also have... Um, our first, uh, well, we have um, our first lot of melon, so that is uh, that has turned up, and what I also have is a whole load of sugar as well. So I think if we can, and we might find another pigeon or two, is um, look at getting uh, maybe the sugar factory today. We'll see. All the other animals are doing fine. I've fed the chickens, um, sheep are happy, and yeah, everyone else is ticking along. So, the other thing I was thinking about as well um, is this tractor. Now, I love the Fent, I really do, do love this tractor. Love this mod as well, it's absolutely amazing. Um, but it is costing me a lot of money, this tractor, to rent. So, what I'm thinking is maybe seeing if we can buy um, buy a tractor. Now, what I am thinking is that come the winter, so a couple of months time, we're going to try and get that plot of um, forest, which I mentioned last episode. And on the back of that, um, I might take out a bit of a loan to get the vehicles that we need for that and also the vehicles that we need for um, in fact should we hook this up yeah we'll hook this up to the um, trailer our grain trailer and that 
can be ready to haul in just a few minutes. So, put that there. Okay. So over, let's go and quickly look at the. Let me put this way. There we go. Whoop. Zoom. So up here, like I said, we've got our fruit all good to go. So we have a pallet of apples under each of our trees. So each pallet is 500 litres. So yeah. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 litres of apples. We have seven, almost 8,000 litres of honey. And over here in the sheep, we have 500 litres of wool. And over here, we've got 500 litres of melon. The chickens are doing quite well as well. Um, I eggs always take a little while to produce when you haven't got many chickens so over here um, is it going to tell us? there we go yeah so 646 eggs and then yeah the chickens over here are doing better because obviously there's more of them um, so we're doing okay with that sugar wise there's um, I think I'm on uh, 13,000 litres of sugar now so uh, we're doing quite well there and like I said over here yeah we're on 459 uh, chicken eggs just now so those are, are ticking along so I mentioned at the end of that step so there's a there's a bird up there so let's see if we can get it shall we this is going to be a fairly dodgy maneuver don't try this at home guys Take that off there, and then let's see if I grab it this way around, it might be a bit easier. Right, I'm getting better with this ladder. There she is. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to attack it with a lance, that would be bad. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Hey, something's glitched here. I can't put it away. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again. Ah, oh. come on. Right, I'm on top of it now. There we go. Right. So, that's given us enough money to buy the... Oops. To buy the sugar mill, which is quite handy. So, put this on here. Ooh, that's not very good. Alright, stick that on there. Got the straps on it. Now we're going to put this back down at the yard. And then what I think we'll do is, um, yeah, we'll get these uh, pallets rounded up. Uh, I'll do that off screen because it's quite boring. And then what we'll then do is we'll go and get ourselves across to. Well, let's have a think. Yeah, we'll probably head across to the sugar mill and uh, yeah, we'll get that purchased. But um, yeah, this this will be take a little bit of sorting. I have had a little bit of an experiment, and these don't go into the pallet storage areas either. So we're going to have to store these somewhere else. So I think what I might do is I might put them up here. Um, we'll have fruit items up here um, and we'll move this bale trailer out of the way and then they're under under here and nicely out of the way and hopefully they'll stay nice and cool just resting in here Ooh. just 
straighten that up a bit. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll move that trailer out of the way and uh, we'll get all the fruit stacked up. Right. I think, yes, we'll see you in a bit. And uh, yeah, we'll get all these uh, all these pallets loaded up. Right. Got all the pallets sorted. I left the honey where it was because, yeah, in all honesty, I, I put in some sort of storage uh, area and it glitched and I lost all my honey. So I've basically started this uh, this uh, episode again off screen and got back to where I was. So we have uh, all our apples and melons undercover and the honey is where it was. So um, not much difference there. So what I need to do is I just need to turn on the interactive markers. There we go. Um, and We've got 17,000 litres of honey here, and we're going to get purchase this. So, yes, there we go. I'm going to need to switch this on. I'm going to turn the sugar beet sugar here, yeah, sugar beet sugar, and then I need to put this around the back. Pretty sure that's where it goes. Okay. Now empty all this out. And this will make a good start to the sugar beet production. There you go. Nice. So as I said before, we need to get um another cup in fact. What I was going to show you is uh, our Ooh. is our um, is our mill. The mill's doing really well actually. It's produced produced some uh, oil, which is good. Now I have a feeling I don't think there are liftable pallets in this production building. So I think what we'll need to do is get some sort of. Um, some sort of front loader. So we'll go and quickly have a look. Down here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how much it's produced so far. Right in here. And uh, what I did do is I put some fences in here as well. Um, just to. Uh, Make it even harder to get in and out. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a um, thousand litres canola oil there already, and yeah, still some produce inside. It looks like we're going to have two crates of canola oil. Yeah, I need a. Uh, oh, let's turn the lights on. There we go. Uh, yeah, it looks like I can't pick them up, so we'll have to uh, use the old uh, forks for that. But yeah. All good. So canola oil, doom to doom. Um, yeah, 668 litres left. So yeah, we'll have another another case of that. So I think yeah, what I'll do is I will. Oh, that's close. I will go back to the stores, and what we'll do will. Um, oh, will I? No. I think what we'll do, we'll rest overnight. Uh, I don't think I've got much more I can do, really. Have a look. I might do, I might do that um, other ploughing contract. And then we'll rest overnight. And then in the morning, we'll get on with our sunflower harvest. Um, I think that's probably the best idea. But we'll have some sugar producing in there as well, which is good. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning, I think. And then, um, yeah, we'll get on with get on with the sunflowers. Well, good morning. Into November, and yeah, it is chucking it down. It has rained all night, and uh, yeah, it is does look like it's going to clear up, but. 
what I've done is I've got um, our lettuce. Lettuce is uh, grown in our garden, so we're going to put some of that in here um, just to top up the chickens. So their food is at a 5,000 now, and yeah, eggs are doing well. That thunder is loud. I'll put the rest of this over at the other chicken coop and then go and we can have a look at um, everyone else I have made well you can see my money has gone down quite considerably so over at the entrance of the farm down here we'll go and show you what we've been doing um, we have basically rented some stuff and bought some stuff um, so ooh, interesting that's gone in there great I didn't want that to go in there okay never mind we'll get that out at some point <laughs> oh well um, so let's just uh, park this in here there you go so, yeah, so the chickens in here have given birth. We now have 101 animals in here. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so 50 new chicks. And, yeah, as I said, the egg production is going to keep increasing now. So at the moment we have uh, 799 in there now. So, yeah, they're all filling up good. And then over here we have couple of things. Um, I've put more sugar onto here that's all spawned overnight but uh, and we did that uh, ploughing contract but what came up was another harvesting contract for sunflowers so what I've done is I've rented this very nice Fort Schricht E6 516B harvester and a fantastic uh, sunflower header and her header trailer and I've also bought a header for our combine and header trailer so at the moment they're a little bit muddled up um, as you can see this one's rented um, and then yeah that the trailer's owned but we'll sort it out in the end it'll be fine um, but I thought we'll rent this because our field over here as well is going to be ready also our alfalfa is ready to harvest um, it's now fully grown so we can make some alfalfa hay uh, and yeah our sunflowers are ready to go as well so there's a lot to do suddenly and it's chucking it down with rain so what we'll do we'll get the harvesters down to the contracting field first I think get that uh, done and then it's there ready to go and then hopefully once it stops raining we can get everything on the way but I'll probably use I'll probably use some workers for this because it's gonna um, be quite a lot of uh, to and fro and otherwise because as I said we've got this um, grass here as well our well, grass fields ready to cut as well so it's all suddenly happened at once but that's fine good to be busy Oh, it is bumpy this track. So I've recorded this episode in two bits because um, the last section of this episode I recorded fairly late at night um, and then... Oh, we're stuck on something. What are we stuck on? There we go. Uh, yeah, I recorded the first section quite late at night, and now I, then I got a call out with the fire brigade. <laughs> so I'm just back in the house. So I thought I'd just finish finish off as much as I can. I probably won't get it all done in this uh, this recording window either, unfortunately. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, I don't know what it is just now, but. Uh, so many variables are 
conspiring against me creating content for the channel, but that's okay. These things happen, don't they? Right. So, park that there. And what we can do now then is this. So, that head is owned by me. And then the trailer is rented. And that's rented. So what we can do is we can put our harvester on this header. So the header itself was 19,500 and the trailer was another 1,550. So that's why our money has gone down quite dramatically. But I think it works quite nicely on this, this harvester. looks quite quite in keeping which is good and uh, I quite like the animations on this uh, these, this mod as well it's, uh, it's pretty cool but we're not gonna we're not gonna go for it just yet because we're gonna lose a yield if we do that what I will do though is just adjust the reel a little bit down a little bit that's probably about right perfect so we'll leave that there I'll go and get the other harvester, uh, the other header, sorry. Um, that's the rented one, so that's fine. And then once we've got everything in place and the rain stops, then we will get on with our harvesting. Right, I'll nip through here somewhere, try not to run through the sugar beet crop of some poor farmer, Gilles sugar beet. Right, see when it stops raining. Right, I'm hoping for sunnier climbs. It is still raining. It is uh, 11 o'clock. The rain is due to fork, uh, is forecast to stop at 12. Um, so not got much longer to go. But um, I've got all, all the stuff down to the field that we need to get done. Um, this is a third recording session, so we're still going. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll uh, as soon as the rain stops we'll get onto it but what I thought I'd do I thought I'd install myself a little um, bootleg uh, production building just here there's the production shed that goes with the, the fantastic uh, olive and grape uh, greenhouses um, that I'm going to use in this corner here because what I want to do is uh, start producing some uh, seeds, some fertilizer, some crops, um, not some crops, some herb, um, lime, that sort of stuff. Um, so is this the production shed? So I think what we'll do, we'll uh, spin this around here and I think I'm going to put it just in this corner. And it's nicely out of the way and it's not going to cause too many issues just here. So. Uh, I'll do. Uh, I'll do a little bit of landscaping. Get this in. Blend this in a little bit. Spin around this bit a bit. There we go. And a little bit of plants. So we get some short grass there. Even shorter grass. There we go. Perfect. So what we can do here is oh, is we can oh that's finished. Alright, we'll we'll turn that off. So what we can do here is we can produce solid fertilizer, uh, we can produce um, seeds, lime, manure and herbicide. So if we do all that, that'll be quite... Oh, this thing's gone funny again. So I think what we'll do, um, we will maybe just increase time a little bit and uh, get ourselves down to the field. So the rain stops and... Um, yeah. Get this harvest underway. 
I'm going to set this up as a bit of a, a montage um, and hopefully by the end of the montage we will be into this field here doing the alfalfa and I'm going to make alfalfa hay I think um, hanging uh, actually let's quickly have a look um, sheep prefer alfalfa don't need alfalfa hay actually just alfalfa right in that case we might make just alfalfa bales which is not totally realistic because alfalfa would just rot but um, I might experiment a little bit see if they take alfalfa hay might do a little bit of both because actually the the real deal is um, yeah alfalfa hay is, is worth a little bit more but actually in real life it would be uh, used for fodder because it's uh, uh, it wouldn't rot away so I could be wrong on that I'm sure people could comment and let me know <laughs> so let's wait for this rain to stop and then yeah we will see you at the alfalfa field probably we'll get a bunch of this harvesting done got the two harvesters lined up ready to go they're going to be working in tandem which is quite cool um, and we'll just get this field done and then we'll get uh, across to our field and get them started on there and then I can get into the alfalfa field but yeah I think what we'll probably do with the, the sunflower seeds is we'll put them in our silo just now and then we can transfer them all across um, to the various cell points and stuff uh, when we're done because there's quite a lot to collect and they're all going to the same cell point for the contracts but yes see you in a little bit and yeah we'll get this contract done first There we go then. It looks like there's rain in the forecast so I'm quickly getting as much done as I can. We have got um, the Forstrict 
harvester over on the next contracting field. Um, so the field we were doing, which is uh, 50, uh, 66, is finished. Uh, 55 is started, and I've moved my harvester over to field 52 to start the uh, sunflowers on our field. But we're just getting a, uh, all the seed into here. We now have 26,567 litres of um, of sunflowers off that first field, which is quite handy. Um, and yeah, obviously a big chunk of that needs to go to the cell point um, for to complete the contract. But that's quite quite a good chunk already. Um, like I said, it is due to rain again, so we better get uh, keep moving and keep getting stuff done. Um, a little bit worried about our funds just now, but um, better get down here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the harvester going up and down this strip rather than going down the short edge here, because that's just going to be a bit annoying. So. Just let it get out of the crop. Now I'll come and take over from the guy. Great, oot. There we go. Thank you. So we'll come back to that edge in a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll tidy up those ends and stuff. But what we'll do get this going here. Just do a wee headland along here and then it can work its way back uh, towards this end here. So yeah we'll get the we'll get um, this on a worker again. I'll just get this along here and then in fact I might empty this harvester first. Let's do this uh, this row, and then we can nip back down. Okay. There we go. Let's do that. Just spin ourselves round, back down to the tractor. We'll go and empty this, and then we can get. Uh, get on with the alfalfa. So yeah, this is a uh, it's going surprisingly quickly actually. It's not they're not too bad size a header um for the harvester either. So uh, all in all it's kind of working quite nicely. But yeah, this is a uh, it's going to be all good. This uh, sunflower is going to go into our grain mill as well into our little windmill and uh, we can make sunflower oil that's going to give us way more money than just the sunflowers on their own so kind of makes sense what I'm thinking is I might have to invest in a bigger trailer um, tempted to maybe get some sort of truck and trailer combo um, probably work out better in the long run for hauling stuff as well, It'll just be quicker. These tractors are quite slow being of their age, unfortunately. But unfortunately they're slow, but uh, I still love them. They're amazing. So good. So get that emptied there, and then we'll get this on its way, and then we'll nip up to the alfalfa. There we go. Wow. Oh, G has a full grain tank already. This is becoming a proper juggle. Because I now have all this grain in here. Uh, all this uh, sunflower seed in here. So, send this on its way. Once this is full again, we'll empty it into here. We'll then take this trailer up to um, the grain mill and get these into process into oil and then once I've done that and emptied this then we can then use this trailer to empty the four strict harvester on that contract <laughs> uh, and uh, that will allow us to yeah, continue on with that 
So, let us, uh, oh dear. This poor little Porsche, it's just not powerful enough. Come on, little tractor. You can do it. There we go. Nice. Right. Let's jump across the alfalfa field. I've got the vent ready to go. So, leave that there. Nip over here. And we've got this good to go. Goodness knows how long this episode's going to be. We shall see. See how we get on. There we go, that's the alfalfa cutting. Definitely a different colour and texture, isn't it? It's quite cool. Hopefully it's not going to get too muddled up with the uh, with the regular grass. And what we'll do, we'll just cut a nice big headland first, and then that way we're not going to have as much of an issue. But yeah, at least these uh, these uh, mowers. A right, nice big working width. I'm definitely doing the job. So I think obviously this is gonna take a while to get all this stuff done. I think what we'll do we'll probably finish the episode here and then next episode we'll finish off the alfalfa. Um I'll continue on with the the sunflowers and yeah next episode we'll finish this alfalfa we'll get it half of it uh, tethered and get that into hay alfalfa hay and the rest can be just straight alfalfa bales um, and we can put that into the sheep and then yeah next episode as well we'll see how much um, sunflower oil we can make and I think I might be going into some sort of purchasing mission because, yeah, we're starting to need different things. So uh, the yeah, ferrying of ferrying of crops is definitely an issue. Um, this tractor is costing me a fortune, so we might have to invest in a tr a different tractor. Um, something that we own rather than lease which would be quite handy it's definitely been good to get us going um, and yeah we'll also need to look at how or what stuff we need um, to create our stuff in the bakery as well we've got no way of making flour just now which is a bit of a, a shame um, might have to purchase some flour just to get things going this first year um, but then after that I plan to acquisition purchase some sort of field that does have a a, a cereal crop in it and then that will give us the flour and some straw as well which will be good for both our garden but also uh, the chance of getting cows as well right we'll finish there I think Hope you enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel. Um, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to. Any comments, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But in the meantime, from the Valley of the Old Farm and the Vintage Series, take care and we'll see you again soon. All the best.